Three and a half million years ago, before cities, before fire ruled the night, the African plains were a place where every shadow hit a predator. At the edge of a slow-moving river, a young Homo habilis named Caro crept through the reeds, clutching a sharpened stone. He had come for water, nothing more, but the river had other plans. Beneath the muddy surface, the ancestor of all giant crocodiles, a behemoth longer than a small tree and armored like a living fortress, waited without a ripple. It had survived ages by doing one thing perfectly, remaining unseen. Caro knelt, cupping water in his hands. The air stilled. Even the birds fell silent. Then it struck. A massive jaw erupted from the river with a shockwave of water. Teeth like daggers snapping shut where Caro's arm had been a heartbeat earlier. He tumbled back, scrambling across the mud as the crocodile dragged half its body onto the bank. An ancient monster fueled by millions of years of hunger. Caro's stone knife shook in his grip. He was small, fragile, but clever. As the beast lunged again, he rolled aside and slashed at the tender flesh near its eye. The giant recoiled with a guttural hiss, the first sound it had made in hours. That sliver of hesitation was enough. Caro fled into the tall grass, heart pounding, knowing he would carry this memory for the rest of his life. And behind him, the giant crocodile slid back into the murky water, disappearing as if it had never been there at all waiting for its next encounter. Because in that world, survival belonged to the quickest, not the strongest.